Okay, so at a glance, this looks like just a regular Proton Inspira. Okay, you've seen uh, a lot of these on the road. But I had a, the chance to have a closer look on this car and there are quite a few interesting details here that separates it from many other Inspiras out there in the market. Now, this example here is a 1.8 liter manual. So, uh, of course, amongst the enthusiasts, this is the spec that we like the most. But the particular owner of this car has invested quite a bit of effort to do up this car. So, first you can see this body kit here. He already visually upgraded this car to resemble the 2-litre premium model. Okay, this, this, this body kit here is from the 2-litre car, the 2-litre model. But, of course, you can see... Some better scars, so this car has been a daily servant to its owner. But look at the headlights. Xenon projectors. Now, the Inspira never had Xenon headlamps, okay? It all came with halogen reflector headlamps. But this car here has Xenon projectors. Why? Because these lights came from, apparently, according to the owner, an Evo 10. And check it out. See, this one here, this one, this light is not on. Huh? Look at the steering wheel. You see, look at the wheels pointing out here. This light is switched on. He has enabled the cornering function on these headlamps. To enable the cornering function, it's not about just installing the headlamp, you know. You need to have the headlamp. You need to have the control module. And you also need to have the steering wheel angle sensor to detect that the wheels are being turned to activate the cornering function. Okay, that is a unique attention to detail. Not only that, we come to the back here. So it's got an original Lancer GT spoiler here. Okay, at the side here, you can see this is the two liter body kit. And he's also uh, put in a reverse camera. Okay, see the, the, the only, as I will show you uh, later as I go into the car, right? The only real weakness of this car is that the paint job is worn. That's it, okay? Everything else on this car, it's, it's really, really tastefully done. Okay, the wheels are 17 inches. And check this out. He's got keyless entry. Now, you can see the, the this is installed later one, okay? This one is too, there's a slightly two-tone to the color. The, the door handle and the body color is a bit mismatched. Okay, he's also got keyless entry on the passenger side. Check it out. You've got keyless entry on, the, the, on, on both sides of the car. Okay? So, this one also is not simply any Archi Akao mechanic can do one. Okay, yes. You, you, you need quite a bit of expertise. Firstly, to install the, the, the door handle on both sides. The switch, the ignition switch, then the key fob. Okay, now if you have come from an Inspira 1.8, you will notice that some of these elements are a bit different. Inspira 1.8 did not have remote boot release, did not have this uh, traction control off button. I'm not sure if this works. This is the uh, cornering light function. He has also taken the effort to upgrade the center display to the original Mitsubishi colored LCD screen. Climate control system has been upgraded to to auto climate control. Hey bro, mm. I see there's a traction control button. Does yeah. your car have traction control? Yes. Got traction control? Yes. You include traction control in the car? Yes. 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 Are you crazy? Are you install traction control in the car? This car didn't come with traction control, right? Definitely. But you not. install it? Yeah. Xiao. The, okay, the, the, to, to enable the traction control is not something that you just install the button then everything. You cannot. Control. Same like uh, what you said just now about the keyless entry, yeah. uh, about the headlamp yeah. corner like yeah. There's a one called the cornering, the steering yeah. sensor. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the parts that you require. Yeah. And then also the ABS pump because yeah. original this car came with only ABS, right? Yes. So in order to have the traction control uh. function, you need to change the pump, which of course you need to get from half guard. Yes. And then... From there, right, you need to make sure that the, the pump is came with the so-called the, the ESP function. Wow, you damn crazy. Yeah. Eh? You gila. Eh? Then, <laughs> of course, with that, right, you mm. also need to have the 
so called the gyro sensor. Yes. Yeah. And you install that. Yeah, yeah. This car can, so because you need to enable the function, right? So you need you need to have the gyro sensor. Wow. The, the new uh, traction control pump. Wow. So it came with the ABS one. Of course, by default, Inspira it doesn't have the traction control. But you can. Yeah, yeah. But you but because the Lancer had it, you're able to retrofit that. I'm not sure if Malaysia Lancer has it or not, but I can I can confirm the other some regions. some part of the world there is a Lancer with this yeah. spec. All right, okay. great, great. Now this one uh, at first glance you may think this is an aftermarket head unit. Okay, it is not. Let me show you. Okay, so settings. settings. Go to settings, ah. Uh. So you can see here. Go to vehicle settings. So it means that this is a, a you see it go it interacts with the keyless operation system. Interacts with what? Wipers. Okay. Exterior lights. What does it show? Headlight auto cutoff function. Sensitive for auto light. Okay. Somewhat late. Turn signal. Lane change signals. Flash three times in one touch. So let me try this one. Okay. This is one touch on. Let's try this. Okay. Now I switch this off. Can you switch it off? Yeah. Off. off. All right. Changing the set values. Off. Huh? Now back. Now I flick again. <laughs> oh my god. This 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 owner I tell you he he's he's a special kind of gila lah, okay. <laughs> to do this kind of, to invest this effort on an Inspira, it's it's you're a special kind of crazy bro. It's, it's not really I do it. It's not really I do it. It's just that we have a gang of kaki, they are all, you know. Yeah. Only this the same I mean only the same car, so they are all interesting to, you know. To, to add all the features that amazing you don't have in Malaysia amazing you know what what you know what I really like about what you have done with this car is that it all looks factory you know you uh, get yeah. you invested in getting the original Mitsubishi parts inside here right to 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 give the car a really original appearance right so if I remember correctly the one point it did not have cruise control right did not have this voice command does this work at this voice command it works just that right. it's not work like the modern car. Like I think it just works for certain settings or certain function. It's like you can do a phone call or something like that. But I don't really use it. It's just that because the steering came with, with it, right? So that when can I can I can I use this 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 function to like uh, switch on the radio? Uh, I never tried that. Let's try, ah. Huh? <laughs> I don't think it works. But yes, you can try. okay. So I press this. FM 94.5 Oh, only call for call. Oh, only for calling. Okay, okay. It's only only for the calling. All right, all right. Still great, right? Yeah, you also have auto headlamps. Auto headlamps which is not initially available in the in the 1.8, I believe. Mm, yeah. But wow. And you have power folding side mirrors. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, this is an impressive, impressive amount of effort uh, that you invest in this car. I really like how this is done. It is very, very, it is a very, very tasteful example. You got door and lock and unlock button here in the middle. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, just to illustrate how properly done this is, uh, I locked the car, right? So, see? Oh. Because you want to keep the sensor. Oh, okay. Wow, touch Taiwan ah. Ho huh. yo. Okay, walk away, walk away. Walk away ah. So the door is locked, right? Yeah. Now, with the key fob here, so you've built the boot sensor. Okay, the boot the boot opening switch here. Okay. Check this out, ah. Uh. Uh, the sensor is there. Sensor is there, right? Alright. Okay, good. So now he dropped this. Okay, check this out. What's going to happen is the car unlocks itself. Yeah. <laughs> There's something that you don't see in normal in Kira. Yeah, like way. <laughs> so you can, I can still, I can still open the. Ah, uh, don't think you can. Oh, cannot. Ah, you can. Not, yeah. the sensor is there. Yeah. Can, can. It's a safeguard, all right, so that you don't lock your key inside the boot. That you left your key inside, like, it, will, it will warn you like, if you leave your car and when you okay. Lock, so, you okay, so now, now I drop the key inside there. Uh, I lock. Uh, 
it won't lock. Okay, it says here, key still in vehicle. It, most of the things that actually done by previous owner. Oh, most of the things were done by previous owner. Hey, but still, you 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 kept it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. kept it going. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay, okay. So, um, the Inspira came out in 2010. All right, it was one of the earlier cars that I reviewed in my career. I, I remember, uh, I, I remember really enjoyed driving this car back then when it was new. But wow, dude, you have changed the shifter. So I remember the original shifter was a bit more loose one. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this one is actually changed to short shifter, right? And then also the the bushing of the mm. housing, right? Yes. Also replaced. It's to, a bit to some beefy, beefy uh, rubber. Yeah. It's the 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 feel is tighter. Yes. It's more precise. But you might feel a little bit more to push, or a, a little bit more force to push it. To oh yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. You know. And um, one thing people may not know. Let me readjust the camera angle. Okay, because my face is cut up a bit. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, one thing uh, people may not know or, or may not think is that the Inspira chassis setup. Mm. Okay. Uh, back then, I I was told that even Mitsubishi engineers acknowledged that uh, Proton was able to improve the handling the right and handling characteristics of of the inspira versus the lancer because compared to the lancer the inspira's uh handling right was made to be less twitchy lancer apparently the rear end uh, can be a bit twitchy on inspira what proton did was that they stiffened the front end and made the rear end softer so the effect of that is the um the what you call that the uh the the rear is more obedient right but that being said i remember when i drove this car right this was one of the few cars that i drove I was like every corner i go into right i pull handbrake one <laughs> and what's really beautiful is when you pull the handbrake the car throws easily but it is also amazingly easy to catch so it's a very very friendly setup it's very normal yeah. <laughs> Wow, not bad, not bad. So how long have you had this car for? Five years. Five years? So you are the second owner. First owner also was quite an enthusiast. Like you yeah, said, yeah, you, yeah. You he basically, basically even have the adjustable suspension installed. Ben, I switch back to... Uh, it's not really stock, but uh, I switched to Lancer spec uh, suspension. Ah. Yeah, so you feel a little bit more stiff mm. than compared to Lancer. I'm uh, sorry, compared to Inspiron. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Oh, nice, very, very nice. It's a uh, uh, four, 49,000 kilometers, uh, quite no, low. no, no. Okay, uh, when I switch this color because original is just an amber, amber color, yes, yes, the, right? the monochrome one, uh, yes, more like the coin monochrome. Mm. And then when I switch this color meter, right, it's, it's a it's so called a brand new color meter, ah. so it starts with zero. Oh, so the so here. With this color meter, you clock forty nine thousand kilometers. Correct. Then with the with how, uh, what was the the M total for this car? If I recall correctly, the exact mileage plus this right uh. is around hundred and ten or hundred twenty around that. So so current, yeah. So Until total now. is hundred and ten kilometers lah, hundred ten thousand yeah. lah. Ah, okay lah. Uh. So 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 firstly, he's not cheating ah. He's not bluffing you in terms of mileage. I said he go and he didn't adjust meter. He changed meter only. <laughs> yeah, because uh, usually the meter has its own. Yeah, uh, something like the own brain one, yes. Yeah, so that there's no choice, like it, it doesn't follow the original model store. Yeah, it with zero. Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you want, you can adjust it to. Uh, I I remember my friend when he tried to adjust, right? He actually break the meter, you know. Oh. So that the it, it's still working. Everything. I mean, the RPM is still working. It's just ah. that the the model it doesn't run anymore. It's mm. always stay in the same number. Ah. Uh, that's how when he tried to do something. That's why, and then in the end, you still have to replace a new one. <laughs> uh, but wow, I, I I really like what you have done with this car. It is very very tasteful. A lot of it's uh it's uh the, the fact that you 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 don't put a lot of you know all the all the very upping kind of accessories. It's, <laughs> you actually took the trouble to source all your where you where you source all these parts from it. Like you know like this. Okay, because I like I said, some of the, uh, most of the parts actually did by previous owner, right? Yeah. When I, you know, have a 
gathering with them mm. what I'm trying to understand is like they, they really spend a lot of time it's mm. not like few days you know it's like maybe months or years year, yeah, no shorts all the parts no joke eh. yeah you because, try- because like you like Whenever you buy or not, whenever you source any parts from half cut, right? Uh. It doesn't mean hundred percent works on you know. Yeah. You might you might buy a parts that might not work in. Yeah. Or it's not even fit to this model. Yeah. And in, in your case, yeah. right, you are upgrading functional parts way, right? Like uh, yeah, what yeah. are you put cruise control, traction yeah. control, I mean stability control, yeah. uh active headlamps, right? Yeah. The the and the thing is that or, well originally this car was on on uh, what ma on uh, halogen ma. Yeah, right? correct. Yeah. So you come to Xenon, I believe there has to be a voltage ballast also, right? Yeah, correct, correct. Uh, so yeah. so there's a lot of a lot of very fine electronic work uh, that if you didn't get the right person to do it with the right skill set, uh, yeah. the car won't run properly, right? Yeah, right, right. Right? So so wow, I, I, I think it is, you know, as a project, right, it is a very tastefully done and very, very well put together. Right? I am I am properly impressed. By the by the, the attention to detail. The only thing that this car really needs is a paint job. Yeah, a paint job. Yeah. Paint job already double ah, Sorry, uh, I broke. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I have to admit uh, uh, because it's never paint since day one uh, uh, Still, it's still in original paint. Never paint it. Yeah, but yeah. Well, well said. And what auto climate control? Yeah. So auto climate control, what you also need, you also need an in, internal temperature sensor somewhere. Yeah. All right. To yeah. yeah. So what way he so you you invested in getting a lot of the original high spec lancer barang correct seat also is not original ah uh, this one from really art specs ah uh, really art okay when in Japan market right there's a spec there's a model called really art which mm. is a uh, it's a slight down tune from Vivo X engine yeah yeah it's still called four B eleven eleven four four B ten no no eleven eleven four B eleven yeah it's just that it's a down tune from uh. Then yeah. it's slightly different in the internal lah. Which, which ah. we, we cannot see inside. And okay. Then it's only came with uh, SSD. There's no ah, okay, manual. Okay. There's no, no manual crush, yeah. on yeah. that yeah. Uh, variant. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. the because the car is using still using the same chassis mm. compared to Evo X, the chassis is totally different design. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. Whenever you see say someone say that uh, they want to convert the Inspira or Lancer to Evo Ten, essentially they they cut their body one. Oh my god. They have to cut the body and then they have because in Evo X, right, the real what we say the real uh, suspension system is totally different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 It's totally different because it's slightly white body. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Even the subframe, they call the subframe, right? If I yeah. call it correctly. Subframe, the subframe, subframe yes. is totally different parts. Yeah. That's why I say they have to cut the body to fit it. It's something that like you say, it's not something that some anyone can do it. Not not, yeah. not any Tom Dick and Harry can yeah, do it. Yeah. All right, all right, okay, okay. So, uh, Kevin yeah. is actually looking to find a new home for this Inspira because right now he already has an MX5, he already has an F30. So you're not, you have not been driving this car as frequently as you yeah, yeah. like, Just, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's time for this car to uh, find it. Someone who appreciate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, but I, I would say that wow. I mean, I've uh, I've always had a liking for the Inspira, but this particular example is one that is that is not only well cared for, but uh, okay, it feels it, it drives well as far as I can yeah, tell. It's not a fast car, to be honest, compared to you know to, to, to FD era with the Vita engine. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's not a fast car. Still got but my, it's a reliable engine. Still I got my back, ma. Ah, uh, yeah. Still got my back, ma. Because we have many members, they already have the car like over 300k kilometers. Yeah, still yeah, okay, still yeah. It's, it's, good one. it's never, never have to uh, like overhaul or open the engine. It's still mm. working. Mm. As long as you, you change the engine oil on time, yeah. everything just working. Yeah, yeah. Where, what I really like about this car is how well it, 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 it how well it, you know, it, uh, put together it feels. You know, everything works, yeah. right? A lot of times, uh, when people, when owners do this kind of modification, like you know, with that involves especially electronics, right? Yeah. Things will go oh, yeah somewhere or another. Like just yeah, now, yeah. for example, we go through the tunnel, right? The yeah. auto headlights work without a work without a HA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, work without a HA. Yeah, because uh, in order to have the auto headlight on, like, there is a sensor need to be installed somewhere here. At the front yeah, dashboard, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, at the front edge of the dashboard, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of. Uh, 
it's not so the thing is that what I like about this car is that he didn't just throw money into the car. This, this is the kind of mods uh, you cannot achieve by just throwing money. Right? It has to be done by people who know their stuff. Who, yeah, yeah. Who... Because uh, when when I before I get this car, right, I uh. get to know a gang that they all own this car. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So there's one member that he has the knowledge how to do all this stuff. Yeah. Like how to do the coding. Yeah. How to use the, because he has a software that to connect mm. uh, through the you know the ODB port mm. using his laptop and then he he, he can. How to say he can enable all these features and yeah. he know that's the thing that you say he know how he stuff mm. he knows how to do it yeah that, that's the best part yeah like, like not everyone knows how to do this this kind of thing no it's not something no. like you you yes or no you know yeah. something like you know what exactly you have to do yeah before you mess up with the ECU yes. or you, you yes you you fry the ECU or something like that yeah. <laughs> I mean the Inspira you, you want to say is, is it a complicated car it's not yeah, it's, it's not, not right yeah. but the, the fact but the fact is there's still electronics in this car that are yeah. designed to work in a specific way and if you put in systems that don't interface with those electronics properly yeah. you will get all sorts of funny funny bugs right? yeah. Yeah. I remember right I, my friend shared with me if let's say I replace the traction so called the ABS pump with ah. the latest model right ah. they even came with the heel assist you know oh wow which means whenever you you press the you press the brake right ah. after you release right, it will ah. help you hold the brake for two seconds oh wow but I I tried to find it I don't think I can find it from Malaysia market because you know this mm. whenever they have this Lancer or Inspira in Malaysia market, yeah. they don't have these features. Uh, so the only way you have to source that kind of part is only from half cut. Yeah. But in the same time, not all markets that the model came with that heel assist yeah. ECU. Yeah. So so no choice, so you just have to see whether you're able to find it, then you can play with it. If not, then you just have to stay with what you have right now. Very, very yeah. nice. So finally, well today traffic is quite heavy, but finally we are seeing some small stretch of of, uh, of open road. So yeah, in terms of ride comfort wise, the, the handling sharpness, this is this is pretty much the Inspira as I remembered it. Nice, well set up. Yeah, it's not a modern car, so that you might not expect something like you have in the Compared to the modern car, oh yeah, yeah even yeah. some some of the modern B seven car, their handling is quite well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but but this one, I, I would take this over many of the modern yeah, B seven yeah, cars. Yeah. Have you done anything to the engine? Uh, this car. Ah. Uh, based on previous owner, he said he did a remap for this engine. Oh. Yeah. But I never touched anything on the engine side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Exhaust all is standard lah. Uh, okay, for the exhaust, what he told me is actually uh, the header is actually replaced from the original is four one, oh. so it replaced to four two one. Oh, no wonder this. Yeah. No wonder it does sound a bit different. The yeah. way it pulls, right? Okay, original, right? This car actually came with the original R three muffler. Oh, and the exhaust system. Ah, that uh, previous owner installed installed it. Ah. but then I find it a little bit louder. Ah, so like like I said, like we have uh, members that still own this car. So ah. after he passed the car to his ah. brother, right? Ah. Then his brother, you know, young, young, ah. so he just like want to try to do something to move the car. Ah. So I said, okay lah, you you, I I still since I'm looking for the stop and ah. right? Ah. We just swap ah. Oh, nice. Uh, then you just pay for the workmanship for to, to swap that's, over. There. That's that's the beauty when you are in a in a car community because yeah. because sometimes right you 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 actually can 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 butter parts, yeah. right? You can butter parts, and so, and, and you can support each other yeah, correct. during the journey of ownership. So this guy actually the the, the real muffler is, is is a stock muffler, and then the what we call the mid part is actually from R three from what ah. I understand, and then the Header is from R3 as well, if oh. I recall correctly. Yeah. No wonder the engine does, no wonder it sounds and feels a bit different. Yeah, right? because actually the intake also uh. changed to slightly different one. Uh, okay. okay, 
because the original Lancer, right, uh, original Spira, right, the the intake, what we call the snorkel, uh, the, uh, the, the snorkel, uh, right? uh, uh, I, I hope I announced it correctly. Yep, yep, yep. It's slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. So what the previous owner did is he, he tried to source the one that from Rally Art. Mm. So the intake is slightly bigger. As oh. I know, the so-called the airflow is slightly bigger. Oh. So when you you try to accelerate, right, you can feel like the some some you know some the I don't know how to say. I, I can I can tell you that the sound of this car, right, it feels a bit deeper. Okay. There's a, it's like a, a, a lower pitch yeah. when you when you rev the car. Not the the previous few times I drove an Inspira, right? When you rev it up, mm. um, there is a high a, a slightly high pitch to the to okay, the, okay. the engine sound, but this one the, the sound is a bit deeper. Okay, mm. okay. Then maybe because you say you remap it, mm. so that maybe the air fuel ratio is already changed a little yeah. bit. I, that's that's all I, I know from, from him. But how how the remap setting? I ah. don't know. I really don't know. You see the the, the, the pickup is there. Yes, yeah. is is is, is good, eh? Not too bad lah for the weight of this car. <laughs> it's good, eh? It's not 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 too bad. It's good. But what I heard is for the owner that convert to two point four, right? Ah. They say it's it's really talky. Two point four seriously talky, yeah. Uh, ah, it's yeah. just it's just that uh, of course you know when you put bigger CC then. The, the fuel efficient is not that What good. about the, the does the nose feel heavy? Does it feel nose heavy? Uh, I don't know. I never drive one before, so I cannot comment anything about nose heavy. But what I try to search around internet, right? As I know, they are different about ten to fifteen kg lah compared to uh. two point four. Okay, the difference within the two point four and one point eight, right? Uh. They are all same family, right? The four yep. B series mm. family. So what I understand is that they just try to replace the, the okay the, the, the difference in CC is because of the stroke mm, mm, mm. and the ball yeah and the ball size the, the, the block is the same yeah, yeah. yeah so basically when you when you plonk in the, the, the 2.4 right it looks mm. the same like the 1.8 correct and yes. I believe the wiring all is plug and play one based on okay before when I got this car I, I have asked before he said uh, the issue can reuse that mm. and then even intake can use back, but mm. I'm not sure about exhaust. Mm. The one I'm not sure. I, I never asked that detail because I that time I, I only try to understand how much cost you need to do for the conversion. Yeah. yeah. I think it's I think in terms of workmanship wise it can't be that expensive because yeah. I would imagine it is a plug and play job. Yeah. For for two point oh definitely it's plug and play because everything is same. The the exhaust size, the intake mm. size, mm. the issue is same. But two point four as I understand is slightly different. Mm. But I cannot confirm because I never did this so maybe someone who knows then yeah I mean some of the parts yeah. will be you know may, may be a bit higher spec correct but it, it, it should it should the the, 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 the fitment wise uh, should be no issue one. yes yes because the, uh, from the engine outer right it's totally same one yeah. there's no difference yeah. in the size yeah All right, so if you are interested, um, okay, so Kevin, as I said, mentioned earlier, Kevin is looking, finding a new home for this Inspira. So if you are interested to check this car out, um, you can contact the number in your screen right now or in the description section and uh, we'll connect you to him and you guys can make him an offer from there. All right, so anyways, thank you for, for your time. Thank hey, you no for, Thanks for, your time. for letting me have a go in your car. Really, really, I really, really like what you, what you, what you've done with it and I hope this car will find itself to a good owner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Hope someone who appreciate this, this car will yeah. come look for me. Okay, <laughs> okay. Where are you based actually? I'm uh, based in Penang. You are based in Penang. So he's yeah. based in Penang, right? And uh yeah, so hit him up.